LDL, HDL, and even triglycerides, then you're going to have major heart problems or stroke, and that's not what we want, guys. Another problem with keto diet, guys, if you have stage 4 or stage 5 kidney disease, that is a time you have to be really careful about your protein intake. So the problem is that high protein that you're getting, yes, you're getting more fat, but you're getting also high protein in that diet as well, is going to put stress on your kidneys and you make progressive dialysis more. So as a result, so let's say you're, you're a guy with a kidney function GFR down to 30 or 25, and then you just watch these keto videos, everybody talks so great, and you go on a keto diet, you may find yourself going to dialysis in the next year or two if you are very strict about this keto diet, just because it's been shown that the high protein diet actually kills your kidneys especially if your kidney is already weak. So if you have a perfect kidney function, uh, you're great, you're, not, you're just a new diabetic, that doesn't apply to you. But if you have been diabetic for 15, 20 years and you already have significant kidney disease, you have to be extremely careful. Another thing that happens with the keto diet, it makes you dehydrated. So unless you chunk a gallon or more water every day, along with the electrolytes, you are going to be prone to kidney stones. So if you have a family history of kidney stones, or if you already had a kidney stone, I would approach this very, very carefully, because if you have a kidney stone once, you're going to hate your life. It is worse than childbirth. Every woman says that if they have a kidney stone versus a, <laughs> versus a child delivery, it is horrible. And it can last days, it can come back, on and on and on. So you have to be extremely careful. Now, if you see a doctor, and if you are potentially somewhat high risk for kidney stones, you may go on a potassium citrate, which can actually alkalinize your urine and reduces the risk of developing kidney stones. This actually has been studied in kids with epilepsy. They use a keto diet to reduce the risk of seizures, but they develop more kidney stones. So you have to be extremely careful. Drink a lot of water. If you're insisting on going on a keto diet, you have to drink a lot of water, a lot of electrolytes, and maybe use a potassium citrate as well. Diabetes channel, I'm going to talk about diabetes here. So if you are on insulin or a sulfonylurea agent, such as glipizide, glimepiride, gliburide, uh, Amarul, whatever you name it, they're, they're different brands as well, but most of these are generic. But regardless, if you're on any insulin or a sulfonylurea drug, uh, and if you go on a keto diet and cut the carbs to almost nothing, you are going to have severe low blood sugars. Now, severe low blood sugars can lead to uh, can lead to coma, can lead to accidents, can lead to falls. So you need to really consult with your